When it comes to why I'm running for counselor, every time I think about it, I seem to think of a new reason. You know, because there are just so many reasons to do it, whether it's to gain the ability to serve my community or to gain an amazing experience. Regardless of victory, there's so many good reasons why I'm running for counselor. Or at least to run for counselor. If I'm gonna talk about one in particular, I'd like to say... The ability to ensure that the future is better than the past and is better than today. That entire idea that through being able to influence public policy with my own ideas and good decision making, we would be able to have a future that was brighter for not only myself, but for everybody in the community. I think it's just a little bit obvious. At least, if you've ever heard what I really have to say about things. I believe in the power of new ideas and creativity. That it, can, that it is the fundamental force that has allowed our entire species to rise up throughout history and overcome adversity. And if there's one thing that I can bring to the table, it's new ideas and creativity. That's what I'm built of, fundamentally. Beyond learning interesting things in math and science, the most important part of myself is the ability to come up with new things that other people haven't really thought of before. Or at least to look at things from a new direction that other people haven't thought to look. Because... I try my best to have as little hubris as possible about whatever thoughts I come up with. If I come up with a bad idea, it's wrong and I throw it away. The greatest problem facing our city? Well, honestly, we really don't have many problems. A lack of growth, maybe. But in what way is no population growth a real problem where the civic environment has in no way suffered? Of course, we cannot continue along that path. That is thing, a thing we wish to correct. There are many things we wish to correct. But as far as one gigantic problem that's pushing upon our city or keeping us down, I don't think there is one. I think that's a very simplistic way to look at things and it's not good for a counselor to say that there's one major problem or that major problem because all problems are problems and if you leave them they get bigger so to me they're all really important and being able to identify those problems and clip them before they get bad pull the weeds before they take root I think that's the skill that we really require. If I'm going to talk about my favorite memory of my youth, I gotta say, there's not a lot of really great memories of my youth. That aside, though, there are always a few moments that stand out. I'd say at the time I was probably about 11, and my family was living in this really small town in BC, nestled in the mountains, called Beaverdale. And the entire economy of the town was drug-based. It was, it was the only form of capital infusion beyond people who stopped at the one gas station or convenience store along the way. We had just moved to the town in the summertime, and really moving there ended up being a terrible decision. But it was a really interesting place to spend a summer, 
because there was a creek that went through it. And so me and my sister would always go down to this creek. And one time we found a log, just a really, really big log. And we were trying to float on it and play with it. And then this other kid, who was about 14 or 15 at the time, comes along and he says, oh, I know what to do. And he gets a hatchet. And we spent, my God, we spent so long trying to chop out that log and make it into a canoe. At least five or six days. But then we made it into a canoe. And we went up and down the water on this canoe we made in our own, with our own hands. And sticks and pushing ourselves. And we flipped over all the time, but it was great. That's one of my favorite memories.